So first off, apologies, I don't have slides. And they, uh, they kind of broke, more or less broke. Um, so My name's Don Colwyn. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick view of running Swagger. So some of you may have actually come across, sorry, probably can't hear me at the back there, come across Swagger before. So what Swagger is, is uh, a standardized way of documenting um, REST APIs. And what this tooling here is, is for the um, Node uh, system. And it's actually using RESTify, but there's actually, a, it allows you to have a few different actual um, codes that it will generate. So the quick thing is to just uh, see how this works. So what you need to install, doesn't start well. <laughs> um, so uh, it just comes with uh, the usual NPM install. So uh, you have to install it globally. So uh, that's one thing. So if you're on your Linux box, you'll be s doing sudo. Um, installs, installs on Windows, Linux, and everything. Um, next step then is you want to just create an app. So all it is is Swagger Project Create App 1. And it will um, ask you what type you want to do. So you have a few choices. Uh, I did Restify. That's it. It's going to run. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> so we'll just quick that. That it'll takes it takes a little bit of while because basically it's just downloading stuff off of um, npm. So it's coming from your registry. So here's one I did earlier. Um, and then to run it. Here we go. I just want to run this code. So it's actually brought down a, um, a set of code, um, which is just a, 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 an existing template. Um, could use Yeoman as well if you want. Um, there's quite a few of them. Start, uh, it just runs Swagger now. It's, it's running, uh, you can actually also start your whole app with uh, Node straight if you wanted to. So here's the bit that I want to show, which is then, um, Swagger project edit. So you edit and the browser comes up. So that is the browser. Uh, and you can see, um, this is the sample you just got. Um, you can see the definition here, I won't go into that. That uh, allows you to very richly uh, edit the uh, Swagger. Uh, it supports uh, YAML by default, but you can put in a few other ones. And this is live editing. so. If I type stuff here, one, it comes over on the other side and it renders as you type it. Uh, if you want to change the type of what it consumes, it's in five, it's there, and somewhere here it should have, oh, it maybe it doesn't understand that. So it, it renders on the sidebar. Now if we go scroll down a little bit, you see, try this operation. Um, this actually allows you then to, where, oh, what? That's it. As you see, I'm not a user of Max that much. So I can pass in the uh, a parameter. It knows this got a parameter. The um, accepting is here. So actually, it was sorry, the accept is what I want to change. Um, go back to this. There you go, nice. Um, okay. And I can just send a request. And there's a response. And a, there's a pretty response. Um, I was going to show you editing um, because this is running actually in this window. Uh, what's the new window? Yeah. 
Yeah, I think I Some help from the presenter. <laughs> API. Source and all you is already wired up and provided it so you can see it's returning you some stuff. Actually, scroll slightly. Uh, <laughs> we're written it, and when we go back to the browser and send the request again. There it is in JSON, uh, straight away. So, uh, and you can edit this and add, start adding full paths and change the paths as you go. So it's very, very responsive and very quick to actually put together a basic REST API. Obviously, you may decide whether you want to go into production with this or not. So, thank you very much. <laughs>